My name is Robert Shaverdian. I'm a vascular and endovascular surgeon. I work as the head of the Dialysis Access Center in Hamburg, Germany. The current standard of care in management of dysfunctional dialysis access is a percutaneous balloon angioplasty. Whether using balloons, cutting balloons, drug coated balloons, stand grafts, so interventional methods. The limitations of this technique is that the rate of reinterventions is high, the time to reintervention is short, so it, it requires several reinterventions over the circle of life of the patient and of the dialysis access. So the flex vessel preparation device is a novel device which uh, works differently for lesions, um, in this case in dialysis access. It has three blades which creates micro incisions by pulling through the lesion under low pressure. And when you use it in four different rotations, you create basically 12 micro incisions, which should um, decrease the pressure of the balloon to dilate this lesion. And then also when we use a dark drug coating balloon, the effect of drug should be hopefully symmetrically distributed through this lesion. Um, when I first saw the results of the flex uh, registry, what impressed me were the length from the intervention to the next intervention, so the time between the interventions. And also there were several uh, points such as lower pressure of the balloon and some might report also lower pain for the patients during the interventions. Well, I, um, one of the main benefits is the procedure is very easy. So to perform this procedure, and specifically, uh, when I perform my intervention, I use ultrasound guidance. It makes the procedure very easy and very fast. Um, the visibility is clear and the result of the procedure is really clear. So one can see the outcome after the vessel preparation already in the ultrasound. And um, this hopefully would maybe even replace the standard of care if the results in multiple patients, multiple locations of lesions and also long-term will show the improvement of the outcomes, especially the time between the interventions, uh, then it might even replace the standard of care. So up until now, in um, slightly over 30 cases, I've used the flex device. You see that the procedure is effective in every patient. Um, the outcomes are clearly visible during the procedure. The pressures and the pain uh, seems to be lower for the balloon angioplasty to actually completely treat that lesion. And um, that kind of made me to routinely use it in different locations of the stenosis, of the dialysis axis, not necessarily only a fistula, but also a graft at the weakest point of graft venous anastomosis. Also, H stenosis for sten grafts might benefit from that, lower pressure and lower pain and effectiveness of the drug-coated balloon. It seems to be applied to the patients that I've treated um, almost a year ago. I have a group of patients uh, that I've treated almost a year ago, and I've had only one reintervention after three months in those patients. So it looks like in this short term and low number of patients I've had experience with that the effectiveness actually applies to those patients. I think uh, patients with several lesions or long lesions uh, benefit from that uh, pre-dilation vessel preparation. Um, recurrent uh, stenosis might benefit from it because um, my patients I've treated had around three interventions before that in average uh, on that same access. So um, those patients seem to benefit more. But I think that also the first time interventions on the first time uh, lesion would also benefit because of the efficiency of the angioplasty after vessel preparation and hopefully also efficiency of the drug coated balloon applied to that lesion. Definitely recommend to try it because uh, it's one thing to hear from experts, it's one thing to read a registry outcomes, but it's another thing to try. And when you try it, you will see how easy it is to use. And when you see that actually it brings change during the procedure and eventually you will see uh, it long-term, mid-term, then um, that will be my recommendation. Just try it and you will see how it affects your outcomes.